So now, this atom, the atom of an element, uh, it can be represented in a chemical reaction using, uh, it can be represented in a chemical reaction using a chemical symbol as shown below here. You can see this. A, Z, X. Now, what does X mean? What does Z mean? And what does A mean? Now, X is the chemical symbol of the element. X is the chemical symbol of the element. For instance, X can be sodium, it can be uranium, it can be copper, among others. Then A is called the mass number. A is called the mass number, or sometimes it can be called the atomic mass. And Z is called the atomic number. Z is called the atomic number. Now, an atom with a specified number of protons and neutrons is called a nucleide. So a nucleide is an atom with a specified number of protons and neutrons. Now, as I, as, as I told you, we shall need to define what mass number is, and uh, we shall also need to define uh, what atomic number is. So let us start by defining the atomic number. What do you think is atomic number? And we've said atomic number is denoted by Z. So atomic number can be defined as the number of protons. Can be defined as the number of protons in the nucleus of an atom. The number of protons in the nucleus of an atom. And it is denoted by letter Z. It is denoted by letter Z. What about mass number? We also need to define what mass number is. So mass number is defined as the sum of protons and neutrons. The sum of protons and neutrons in the nucleus of an atom. The sum of protons and neutrons in the nucleus of an atom. And as, as I've already said, it is also sometimes referred to as the atomic mass. And uh, this mass number is denoted by letter A. So where you see, when you see letter A, then that is the mass number. Now, there is an important note here that you need to take care of. We have said that mass number is the sum of protons and neutrons in the nucleus of an atom. So therefore mass number is equal to atomic number, of which atomic number is equal to the number of protons, then plus the number of neutrons. So if I have A, mathematically it is equal to Z plus N. So meaning if I have uh, the mass number and I also have the atomic number which is equal to the number of protons, then I can be able to get the number of neutrons by subtracting. Now let's look at an example here. We have uh, an atom X. Now let's use uh, this scrolling. Chlorine with a mass number of 35 and atomic number of 17, or the number of protons are 17. So what will be the number of neutrons? Now to get the number of neutrons, I will get this 35 minus 17 according to this formula. And I will get 18 neutrons. So therefore, in this example, chlorine has 17 protons and 18 neutrons. Now, an atom 
is usually electrically neutral. What does this mean? Now, since we have protons in the nucleus of an atom and uh, electrons outside the nucleus, now the, we have seen that protons are positively charged, whereas uh, electrons are negatively charged. And in an atom, the number of protons are equal to the number of electrons. So meaning that the positive charges will cancel out with the negative charges and this will make an atom to be electrically neutral. So let's look at uh, isotopes. What is an isotope or what are isotopes? So isotopes are elements or are, they are atoms of the same element isotopes are atoms of the same element having the same atomic number but different mass number so they are atoms of the same element but they have the same atomic number and different mass number what does this mean it means that they have the same number of protons and electrons but they have different number of neutrons the protons and electrons are the same but the number of neutrons are different now let's look at an example here when we look at this example we have uh, chlorine the element is chlorine then isotopes we have Chlorine 35 and chlorine 37. This is 37, not 35. Now, in chlorine 35, you see the mass number is 35 and the atomic number is 17. So, if I do the subtraction here, 35 minus 17, I will get the number of neutrons as 18. Then here in chlorine 37, you can see the mass number is 37, but the atomic number is 17. So if I also do the mathematics, you can see that the number of neutrons here will be 20. So for chlorine 37, it has 20 neutrons, but chlorine 35 has 18 neutrons. So it means they have different number of neutrons but they have the same number of protons because we can see here the number of protons are 17 then here also the number of protons are 17 so they have the same number of protons but different number of neutrons or the same atomic number but different mass number so also another element that exists uh, that shows isotope we have carbon you can see we have carbon 12 carbon 13 carbon 14 then we can also talk about uranium and other uh, other elements and i hope you could have looked at this concept in chemistry now i have questions here which i want you to answer you're going to try out these questions then we see i'm going to try for you number one then you'll be able to to try out number uh, two three four then plus all these other numbers so number one says given an atom uh, this one x5927 find its atomic mass find its atomic number find the number of neutrons then the number of electrons now if we compare this with the general symbol the one that we had this one 
then this is z now if this is the element then we said a is the mass number and z is the atomic number so if we compare this with this so we shall see that the mass number is 59 whereas the atomic number is 27 so atomic mass or the mass number is 59 then atomic number is 27 then what will be the number of neutrons so the number of neutrons will be 59 minus 27 then what will be the number of electrons we have said the number of protons are equal to the number of electrons so therefore the number of electrons will be 27 so now you try out the uh, this number two number three and all these numbers then we see your answers.